Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will see Hilbert curve in C++ in Turbo C. So let's begin. Before starting the video, if you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Firstly, we have taken header files. Uh, first header file is iostream.h. This header file includes the input output operation. Second header file is graphics.h. This header file is used for graphics related functions like init graph or line to function. Our third header file is dos.h. Now this header file is optional as we are running it in Turbo C. So this header file is required. It is generally uh, used for delay functions and other time related functions. Our fourth header file is the conio.h. Now this header file is used for console input output functions like getch. Uh, instead of conio.h you can use uh, using namespace std. Now here we have taken move function uh, where j is used for denoting the direction like up, right, down or left. h is for how many units we are going to move. Address of x and address of y are used for updating the values of x and y coordinates. Now we will be checking the condition if j is equal to equal to 1 then we will move up by reducing the y coordinate by h. Now this y minus is equal to h is a shorthand operator uh, which generally means that y is equal to y minus h. Now else if condition if j is equal to equal to 2 then move right by increasing the x coordinate by h. That means x is equal to x plus h. If j is equal to equal to 3 move down by increasing the y coordinate by h. If j is equal to equal to 4 then move left by reducing the x coordinate by h. And we have used the line 2 function. This function draws a line from the current position to the new position that is x comma y. Now here we have taken Hilbert function and we have passed 8 parameters int u, int r, int t, int l, int i, int h, int address of x and int address of y where u represents up, r represents right, d represents down and l represents left. h is used for length of each line segment and x and y coordinates are the current coordinates where the drawing starts. i is for the iterative function. Now check the condition if i is greater than 0 then decrement the value of i. Now here we are recursively calling our three functions that is the Hilbert function, move function and delay function. If you see the Hilbert function, uh, the last four parameters that is i, h, x, y is constant in all the four. So you need to remember the sequence of r, u, l, d. The trick for each function is given in the comments so you can refer to that. Now for move function also last three parameters are same that is h, x, y. You just need to remember the first parameter that is u. As you want to move up so you will, uh, we will be using u. If you want to go right then r, uh, left, uh, l and then for down it will be d. As we can see that we have added delay for every function. Uh, delay is generally required to show the output on the screen to visualize it. You can give any number in that delay function. Uh, so as one second is equal to 1000 milliseconds. So we have given 1000. Uh, if you want to see the output very fast, you can just increase the number. If you want to see the output slow, so you just need to decrease the number. Now our main function where our actual execution starts. Uh, here we have declared some variables. n, uh, x is equal to 50 y is equal to 150, h is equal to 10, r is equal to 2, d is equal to 3, l is equal to 4, u is equal to 1. And again for remembering trick, I have given it in the comments, so please refer that. Next is int driver is equal to detect, uh, mode is equal to 0, where we are actually initializing the graphics driver. Mode is equal to 0 means start the graphics system in auto detect mode. Next line is init graph at the rate driver at the rate mode and null. Generally in most of the codes instead of driver and mode we generally use gd and gm. So external generally ask question that uh, what is this gd and gm. gd means graphics driver and gm means graphics mode. So remember this then simply input the value of n from the user then move to x comma y means move the current coordinates of x and y then Hilbert function again we have called this function for drawing the Hilbert curve then again we will be adding the delay that is 1000, close the graph and lastly return 0 for successful execution. Now compile the code and run it and we will see the output on the screen. 